All right, so I decided to collect a couple questions from my Instagram channel, the YouTube comments, uh, from TikTok, and from the website that people have submitted um, or just commented on a random video. I, I took some comments that I thought were uh, especially direct and potent. Um, so I just copied and pasted them into this little Word document. I'm going to read them and uh, see what comes. Uh, first, question, first question, what methods are the best for achieving self-realization? Hmm. I like this question. Uh, the typical answer would be like, uh, just meditate. Yeah, just meditate is the typical answer. Uh, but really, um, if you're trying to go direct, if you're if you're real about self-realization, um, there's no mantra, there's no prayer, there's no specific action you could take to just like automatically achieve self-realization. Really, the slow method, uh, the natural method, is to uh, live your own life and learn to accept what is forgive all that you judge and bring love to every situation. That would be the natural method. Everything that arises in your life, daily life. Uh, you learn to love, accept, and just roll with. That would be the slow and natural method. And that's why, that's why we're in these bodies. But that's a tangent. Um, <clears throat> the direct method, which is ultimately what I'm interested in because it's what led to my own awakening, um, is to realize that there is no self. There's no doer. There's no subject. There's no subject object relationship. There's just what is. There's just what's happening in every each, in every and in each new moment. It's just fresh. It's just. It's almost like just magic unfolding. I mean, that's what it feels like if there was a, a person here to feel it. When I, when I feel into it, then that's just what's happening right now. That's just the nowness happening, the isness being. I think maybe uh, language can be confusing. Even when I say, I think that. It's interesting because it's not the person, Chris Taylor here, saying I, I think that as a person. It's like that section has been removed from the process. It's like thinking thinks, seeing sees, hearing hears, you know, there's not, there's not a sound, a hearer and an interpreter of what's being heard. All those things are really the same thing. There's no inside or outside in terms of an experiencer, experiencing, experience. <laughs> There's, yeah, it's confusing to talk in these ways. Um, but understand that there is a direct experience of reality in which you don't exist. That's how I'm talking to you right now. 
There's nothing contrived. There's just a flow of intimate first experience reality. I say first experience because it's like this. There's a rawness when there's nothing contrived. There's nothing. And this must be so paradoxical because I'm sure there looks like there's a thinker to you on the viewer side of this transmission. Thanks, LaCroix. It's fucking good. All things are just what is. What I'm speaking from is the deletion of the doer. The, or the deletion of the belief in a doer. You can never not exist. So don't worry about that. If you exist, you're just as much a part of existence right now as you'll ever be. Let me make sure I get, I get to the part of this question. What methods are the best for achieving self-realization? Yeah, just what methods? There aren't methods. There's a way to say this better. Non doing. Just sit in that. 